Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer. Today I'm going to show you how to use Wear Installer 2 with a Pixel Watch. The process has changed a little since Google released the March 2023 firmware update. Once you reset your Pixel Watch, you'll need to pair your watch with your phone over Wi-Fi and you'll need to specify a randomized port each time you connect. We'll see in a moment how that works. So let me go to developer options on my watch. And I recommend that you connect your watch to the charger and turn on stay awake while charging. Let's go down to ADB debugging, turn it on. Yes, I'm sure. And also wireless debugging and turn that on. Now, here's the new part. We're going to need to pair our watch with our phone. We only have to do it once. The watch will remember the pairing for future sessions. So select pair new device and you'll see a pairing code and a pairing port shown on the watch. We're gonna need those in a moment. So now let me bring in my phone and start Wear Installer 2. If you're using the app for the first time, there are some instructions here about how everything works. The important thing is to enter the IP address of your watch in the box provided here. Now, this is the new part. Let's go to the menu and select Pair with Watch. There's some further explanation here which is worth reading, but let's tap enable and you'll see we're asked for the pairing code and the pairing port and these are what are currently shown on the watch over here so i'm going to enter them in the box provided and then tap done so pairing code you can see it's seven two zero five seven six and then the pairing port uh, below it, three, nine, two, five, three. And then tap done. I get a message attempting to pair and then successfully paired. So uh, that can take a few seconds, but uh, as you can see, it uh, went fairly smoothly. Now, if we go back to the, the watch, we can see a new entry under paired devices and that actually is my Android phone now paired uh, with the watch uh, and appearing there. So now on the uh, back in Wear Installer 2, uh, I'm on the start screen and you can see an extra box is shown and this is for the randomized port. This port number changes every time you enable wireless debugging on your watch. You can see the, the port here, uh, it's 45747. So let me enter it here, 45747, tap done. And now we're, we're good to go. If you've used Wear Installer before, you'll be familiar with the app carousel. You can uh, select an app here. Uh, or you can tap on custom APK to go to the downloads folder. Um, so I'm going to side load uh, one of my apps where uh, app picker, the APK file is here. Let me tap on it. I get a message to say it's for Wear OS and continue. Uh, it's established a connection with, uh, with my watch, which is good. And let's tap install sending the APK file over Wi-Fi from the phone to the watch. Just take a few seconds and there it's uh, successfully installed on the watch. So now we're done, uh, I, can, uh, I can tap finish. I get a reminder to turn off ADB debugging on the watch. Um, if you do have any problems with, uh, with what I've just shown, uh, if anything goes wrong, best idea is to restart both the watch and the phone and try again um, but uh, it should be fairly straightforward let's go back and 
turn off ADB debugging to save battery. And also we don't need stay awake while charging anymore. So you can find links to Wear Installer 2 and all my other apps at my Freepop website. The details are in the notes to this video. Uh, so that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.